Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about WPX hosting. I'm going to explain what is WPX hosting, why should you use it compared to other web hosts out there, and also I'm going to show to you several of the features that come with this web hosting. So let's get started. Hi there, this is John Alexa, and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to review WPX hosting. I'm going to explain what is this web hosting, why should you use it, and also several of the features that come with WPX hosting, including its backend I'm going to show to you, so you can get a better idea of whether or not this is a good choice for you. Also, if you still haven't liked and subscribed to my YouTube channel, just go right below, click on the thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can receive my weekly video updates where I share with you plenty of tips related to Kindle publishing and several ways for you to make money online. So let's get the ball rolling. Okay, I'm going to share a bit of my background so you can get a better idea of my experience with other web hosts. I've been blogging for nearly 8 years or something like that, but I never took this very serious when it comes to blogging. I never had that, that patience to write uh, blog articles on a weekly basis and so on, so I never took this very seriously, but I used to use other web hostings. But now, nowadays I decided to take my bloggy, blogging uh, profession, I would say, a bit more seriously and I'm, I'm blogging on a weekly basis for jordanalexo.com and one thing I noticed was my uploading time for my website. I was using other cheaper web hosts in the past, I used Bluehost and lately I was using Hostgator. And when it came to the uploading time, they simply weren't hitting the mark, okay? If you don't know, when it comes to, to the uploading time of your website, this is one of the most important things nowadays, more than ever actually. Because I mean, a few years ago, people probably had a bit more patience to stay on their website and, and wait because most websites used to be slower than nowadays, but nowadays it's a bit different, it's, it's a completely new game. So if you are using cheaper web hostings, then most likely the uploading at time for your website won't be good enough. Because most people, what happens is they go to a website and if your website takes more than three seconds to open up, what happens is most visitors just leave your website. And I mean, if you are running a business, this is not good for you. I mean, if your visitors don't stay on your website, then they aren't going to purchase your products, they aren't going to purchase your 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 services or whatever you are promoting inside of your website because your website is taking just way too long. And it has got even worse because a lot of people go to websites using mobiles nowadays. And if you don't know, um, uh, when it comes to opening a website in a mobile, it takes longer than compared to a desktop. So it is crucial for you to have a website that uploads extremely fast. So you get to keep your visitors, so you get to keep your customers inside of your website. So I was using Hostgator, and as I already said, it's basically you pay for what you get. I mean, I'm not saying that Hostgator or Bluehost or other cheaper companies are bad, but you pay for what you get. And if you're paying for a cheap web host, then you can't expect a great service or amazing service, especially when it comes to this. This is so crucial nowadays, for what I already said, but also because of the search engines. For example, Google gives uh, importance and they rank better sites that have a fast uploading time. So this is crucial. And actually I'm going to show to you the test that I did when my website is connected to Hostgator. You can see that this is jordanalexa.com. This is my domain inside of Namecheap, where I got my domain. And you can see that at the moment, my domain is pointing to Hostgator's web servers. And I actually did um, a GT metrics test to see the, the speeding, the speed of my website. You can see the page speed score is not ideal, but it's not that tragic because also my website is, is well optimized for the search engines. I have a, a caching pl plugin. Also, the, the images of my website aren't, or they aren't that big, you know, I, I pay attention to that. You can actually see for, by the, the total page size, it's not a huge uh, website. 
but it took still to load five seconds with GT metrics and also another test when it comes to pingdom.com and over here it took in North America USA Washington normally when it comes to this uh, territory the uploading time is faster and it took 6.45 seconds which is a lot of time and that is a problem when it comes to the cheaper companies I mean yeah they are cheaper but the users or the visitors that go to a website many of them will simply leave your website and won't purchase your products won't read your content because your website is taking way too long to upload and it really doesn't matter how well you optimize your website because this is one of the main things if you want a faster website you just need to to use a better web hosting company and that is exactly what I did I'm going to show to you now the results that I get when it comes to using WPX hosting yeah, so I just redirected my domain name jordanalexo.com to my new web host servers as you can see wpxhosting.com and I did new two new tests the first one and JT metrics you can actually not see a huge difference over here when it comes to the scoring because usually I have 97 percent over here on both and my guess is this is still getting cached information from my previous web servers from Hostgator, and that is the reason why this is happening but you can see that it's uh, I have a better uploading time over here as you can see this was with Hostgator, and this is with WPX hosting and usually I even get a better score and all of the rest but where you can actually notice a huge huge difference is with pingdom.com so this is with WPX hosting huge huge improvement it's basically a night and day and this is with host together I mean there's really nothing to compare and as I already said before it doesn't matter how well you optimize your website you can have a, a cache and plugin you can optimize the images of your website but I mean if you have a web host that has a slow connection to the internet your website will take still long to upload and one of the the problems I noticed with cheaper web hostings is especially with their share package what happens is they they overload their servers with way too many websites making the connection very slow to the internet so this is as you can see huge improvement when it comes to the uploading time of your website so now let's talk about the packages okay so let's talk about the different plans that you can get with WPX hosting you can choose between the monthly plan that means that you of course pay on a monthly basis but you can see that the price is $24.99 and if you go for the yearly one which is the one that I recommend you only pay $20.83 per month this means that in the end you get about two months for free if you decide to go for the yearly plan so this is the one that I actually recommend for you to get now when it comes to packages it really depends on the number of websites that you have in my case I just at the moment I decided to scrap all of the other websites that I basically wasn't using they were old websites and I decided just to focus at least at this moment because later on I want to build more websites but I decided to focus just on jordanalexa.com so I went with the business plan now of course if you have more websites then probably will need to choose a different plan over it really depends on the number of websites that you have also the storage space depends on the package that you choose and also the bandwidth now one of the main advantage of WPX hosting and the reason why uh, if you are using this web host your your website is just blasting fast when it comes to the uploading time is because of this feature called WPX cloud CDN this is something that you won't find other with other cheaper web hosts okay let's say that you are using a cheaper web host what happens often is you install your website on their web servers let's say that their web servers reside in the US and you have a visitor that is residing in China and that person wants to visit your website so what happens is that person in China let's say that person is in front of their desktop they go to your website what happens is they need to basically go all the way to the US 
retrieve the information from the servers in the US back to their computer in China. As you can imagine, the distance is huge, making the uploading time of your website a lot slower. But in this case, with WPX Cloud CDN, it's completely a different ball game, okay? What happens is your website gets cloned to servers spread all over the world. This means that, let's say, uh, this person is still in China, he goes to your website, and that person will connect to the server that is the closest to him. That could be a server that is in China that has your website clone over there making the distance a lot shorter and of course the connection a lot faster so this is a huge huge feature and it's something that you don't get with other cheaper web hosts the other thing that i like about them is also the free migration okay so if you if this is the the first web host that you're going to use it's not a big deal but if you are using another web host this is actually a huge deal because you get a free migration this means that this company will freely without charge anything like that they will get your old websites or your your old websites and also the email accounts belonging to your websites from your old web host and they will migrate all of that data into their servers for free and that is something that I enjoyed and it really helped me a lot because doing that manually is something that is kind of boring and many times other web hosts out there also make a pricing when it comes to this. Also they have a reliable time as you can see when it comes to your website. It's a reliable 95.95%. The other thing that I like is that they provide a free SSL. That is extremely important nowadays because if you want to people go to your website and secure is securely um, make payments, credit card payments, and so on, this is a must-have. And it's a must-have even because of Google likes it. They actually give better rankings to websites that are using a SSL service. As you can see at the moment, I'm using the SSL. You can see the small locker. Usually it doesn't appear when you're not using. This is a huge deal that they offer for free. The other thing that I also like about them is their support is extremely quick. If you, I just had a, a few minor problems until now. And usually after using their, their service over here, they reply after just a, a few minutes sometimes just in a few seconds it seems that this these people don't sleep I don't know sometimes I, I just leave a question and after like 10 seconds I have someone replying sometimes it might be a minute or so but it's it's really quick compared to other companies that I already use so these are the few features that I like about them and now I'm just going to show to you the back end so you can get a better idea of how it looks like Okay, so I gotta admit, one of the main problems that I had before I got into WPX hosting was the fact that they simply don't have a cPanel. And I was kind of concerned about that because I always use a cPanel. I don't remember not using a cPanel. And I'm, it's just a kind of a old habit and you just get so used to using a cPanel with other web host companies. And this one doesn't have, probably I'm not going to like but I kind of changed my opinion when it comes to that because WPX hosting, they have their own dashboard or panel, whatever you want to call it. And I like the fact that it's very, very simple for you to use compared to a cPanel. Because, I mean, when it comes to the cPanel, how many options do you use? Probably three, four options and all of the rest, you just even forget about them. So WPX hosting, they have their own dashboard. This is how it looks like. Okay, um, when, when you actually log in, you get to manage service. You have several options, which I'm going to show to you each one of them. Nothing special. Billing details, FTP, MySQL, server details. Okay, so you can actually uh, redirect your domain name to the right servers. Manage websites. This is where the listing of your websites will appear. It's also where you can later on if you don't have uh, your SSL uh, installed on your, your website, you can do it over here in this option. And also install a WordPress 
the WordPress platform onto your website if it still doesn't have it. Uh, also, you have other settings if you want. I'm just going to click on it. I'm just giving you a, a glimpse so you can get a better idea. This is in case, this is to see the latest and I recommend always to have the latest uh, PHP install on your website. Databases for your websites, I only have this one. Email inboxes, this is where all of the webmails belong to your websites, where will appear the listing of web webmails. As I already said before, they actually migrate this for free that's exactly what I did. FTP users, edit DNS. Actually, this is not options that I use. File manager, also I don't use this, but this is important backups. Okay, you can actually select a website to restore if you want. I'm not going to do that, but in case it happens, you know, you can actually get the backup of your website in case something happens to your website. But which may happen. Although I always suggest for you to have a backup plugin if you are using WordPress. I recommend it to for you to always have a backup plugin, some way for you to back up your website just in case something happens. Let's say that something happens to their servers and uh, something you just lose the information belonging to your website. Okay, so this is the WPX Cloud. Once you actually log in and and migrate your websites I recommend for you to empty the cache over here because what happens is many times your people who are connecting to your website and so on are still getting uh, the old data that they were seeing when your website was still connected to your previous web host so this is what I did over here just clear the empty cache and it may take a, an hour until it propagates and clones my website to the several servers that they have spread all over the world. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty simple. Nothing special over here. I'm just going to show to you some, some other options over here to edit the details of your, your account, change password, manage uh, contacts, security, invoices, credit card, e emails, affiliate hub, if you want to become an affiliate of them yeah this is how it looks like very simple compared to cpanel to a cpanel uh there's nothing much to add over here yeah so that is all about wpx hosting this is my review i hope you enjoy if you have any questions uh when it comes to using the servers or still have some doubts whether you you should pass to this service uh, to this web host or not just leave the comment right below also make sure to use the coupon code that i have right below so you can get a discount while using wpx hosting so that is all for this video stay there and stay tuned with jordan alexo and bye